Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. We are looking at the British Army's new artillery system that is replacing the AS-90 temporarily. Okay, it's the arch, the Swedish archer system. Um, basically, the AS-90 is no longer in the British Army. It has been around since the 1990s. Uh, it's been a brilliant piece of kit and has been vital in such um, events like the Iraq war it's a 155 millimeter self-propelled artillery system and it is actually being replaced i believe by an rch 155 so remote controlled howitzer but until that is completely agreed and coming in we've got the arch artillery system coming in from sweden as a sort of temporary replacement so we're just going to look at a bit of a video um, from forces news you can check this out on um, in the link in the description if you want to go and see the original video um, pretty sort of biggish news for those guys who are obviously currently in training or looking to join the British Army um, and you were planning on going to sort of an AS90 regiment you're no longer going to be training on the AS90 you'll be training on the Archer slightly different as well is because of the tactics uh, AS-90 light gun, sort of area weapon, six gun batteries, um, so sort of putting down sustained fire and sort of the videos I've done in the past and the research I've done on, a sh on the Archer is more of a more accurate shoot and scoot system. So sort of get into place, sort of a first round hit, fire maybe one, two, three rounds and then move location. I'm guessing that's what the British Army are now going to be doing because um, that's what this was more sort of designed for this is most probably got to be one of if not the best artillery system out there from what I've seen so quite surprising that this is only sort of an interim replacement and it's not a full permanent replacement and they've gone with the RCH howitzer um, but yeah let's get into the video see what it's all about and then we can sort of discuss it from there So you think the British Army has begun training in the UK on the new arch artillery system. So every sort of AS-90 unit out there, all their current personnel now need retraining. The training for new recruits um, going into the artillery has had to be changed. So all the instructors have had to be retrained to now teach them and any free soldiers and any phase three soldiers. Good old Volvo, very reliable. You can see it, it's very long, very big, um, but everything I've seen, it can get across all terrain. So there, as you can see, it's an interim solution. From what I've seen as well, it's pretty easy to sort of manoeuvre and use, even though it's quite big and long. 19 Regiment Royal Artillery have received 14 archery with aspirations to require another 10. So it's 19 Regiment Royal Artillery. Um, they're based down in Lark Hill, Wiltshire. So if you're looking at joining them. So with the Archer, I believe it's a three-man crew, if I remember correctly. But it can actually be manned by only one or two people. Um, it's all done from inside the cockpit there. Uh, everything is done from there, and then it's loaded separately. Yeah, I do wonder how they're going to, are they obviously going to be retraining on tactics? S set up in 14 seconds, firing the first round in only 23 seconds. That's how quick and good this is. Like I said, a more sort of shoot and scoot, set up, fire a couple of rounds and move again. They're meant to be highly accurate. Just look how quick this is. Oh, 
Look at that. And then obviously all the rounds in the sort of ammo sort of compartment there. So no need for the personnel to get out and do anything. They do it from all inside the cockpit. Pretty exciting for anyone who's looking to join 19 Regiment or if you're looking to join the artillery, I'd put down, you know, possibly go to 19 Regiment because you're going to get to sort of play around and use this piece of equipment. Must be a pretty well-built chassis to obviously be able to sort of withstand uh, the pressure of when the gun is firing. As you can see, it's just showing how quick it can get in and out of action here. So this is really good when it comes to sort of counter fire. So artillery, um, artillery counter fire. There's obviously there's obviously radar systems out there now in most simple terms when you fire around this is big in ukraine and russia war their sort of counter systems countermeasure systems can pick up the origin points so where you fired so this is why this is so good because you can fire one or two rounds they will find out where you fired from and then they will fire artillery back at you but by the time you fired those rounds and they picked you up you've already moved location here you go here's a mighty as90 a big piece of kit look at that massive very loud, very powerful. I worked in sort of light light gun units, uh, but did obviously work closely with AS-90 units as well. So there you go, one Royal Arts Artillery will operate the final AS-90s in Estonia for the next nine months. And then it's gone. So if you're heading to first, you're going to get to use this in Estonia, and then you won't use it anymore. Or as some say, worst RHA, first the worst. You can just see how big this is. Look at the um, two guys in the top there in the turret. It's absolutely massive. Um, but obviously nowhere near as long as the Archer. Here we go, the Boxer RCH15, the remote controlled howitzer has been selected as the permanent AS90 replacement. Okay, so this is confirmed. I don't know why we're not sticking with the Archer. I don't know much about this. I'll have to get a video on that RCH. Um, from everything I've seen and spoken to, the Swedish Archer is not, is either one of the best or the best out there. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see how good this RCH is. Uh, it's a German weapon system, I believe. So, Germans, as we know, do make one great cars and two great military equipment as well. So there, I think there is chains there um in previous videos are snow chains um so obviously on slippery sort of ice because it's not tracked tracked you do have to be careful on ice and snow um but you don't need to put sort of snow chains on i think they're called don't use them in the uk so sorry that's wrong um but that's what they're for to go on the wheels Yeah, shame they're not actually showing this firing. Maybe this is literally just all dry manoeuvre, practising getting in and out of action. So there, for those who are looking to join the artillery, this guy here with the white hat is called a SMIG. Something instructory gunner, Sergeant Major instructory gunner, um, a SMIG. They're Sergeant Majors within the artillery. They go away and do like a two-year course, sort of like a fast track to get Sergeant Major. If you get selected, you're like top 10, top 1% within the artillery. Um, you can normally go down as sort of a staff sergeant, I believe, if I remember correctly, um, or a sergeant. 
might be a sergeant and then you sort of fast track to get a sergeant major and basically you become an SME within a certain aspect of the artillery um, whether that's you know FST in sort of OP Akin, um, guns, communications, and then you go away and basically instruct on that. So he um, is like the SME now on the archer system. So if you see the white hats around artillery, either stay away from them or make sure you brace up to them. Um, very rigid uh, and will pull you aside if you're not doing something correctly around Lark Hill. As you can see, that's how big it is. It's got a wide load sign on it. Um, so it generally shows how big the archer actually is. So it's very long and looks very wide. Um, all sort of reloading is done prior. So you don't sort of set up and have an ammunition bay next to the weapon like you would normally with an AS-90 and a light gun. It's got the ammunition in. You fire whatever off and I think they go to a vehicle. It's all sort of hoisted in. Um, they can load pretty quickly, I think. And then you go off again um, with your ammunition, do what you need to do. And then you have to reload once all expended. As I said, this is one off, if not the best. Could have been a permanent. I don't know, obviously, the ins and outs of why it's not. We'll have to look at a video on the RCH-155, um, the German counterpart, and see why the British have chose this over the Archer. The AS-90 has been in, what, 24-ish years? Um, so it is now most probably time for replacement of that it served the british army well um, i know guys in as-90 units absolutely love working on the as-90 um, they love being sort of armored artillery not armored but yeah sort of armored artillery uh, and they absolutely love it so yeah very interesting as-90 out archer in interim solution and then rch155 coming in so if you're looking to join the artillery or you're in training to join the artillery and you were looking at an AS-90 unit or you're in an AS-90 unit, that's the transition that's going to happen now. So you won't be working on the AS-90 if you're coming through. So hopefully, if you've done your research or you spoke to the careers office or good old Capita, they have advised you on this that you will not be working on the AS-90. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.